I'm sorry, my friends. It is, it's crazy time here at UFD Tech. I saw this post on HWBot where somebody was cooling a chipset while they were overclocking with another processor. And I thought to myself, gee, I wonder if that works with real processors. And you know what? That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try to cool my 3950X with another processor because, I mean, if AMD wanted me to cool the 3950X with a cooler, they probably should have included one. So instead, we're gonna take the 3700X that was in this system and then I'm upgrading the 3950X too because this is gonna become our editor's rig. So we're gonna give her 16 cores instead of the eight. We're gonna cool the 3950X with the 3700X. We use the stones to destroy the stones. How well is this gonna work? I'm not quite so sure. However, if you're terribly concerned about Ryzen chips dying when they don't have a cooler, I want you to check out this video by Der Bauer where he ran it without a cooler completely. But I'm gonna at least put thermal paste in between the chips and like squish them down. It won't have like proper mounting pressure or anything. It's not gonna be a good idea, but I'm curious. How well and how long can these things run? I've already done some preliminary benchmarking of the 3950X on a properly cooled system. So let's go ahead and see how this is gonna work on a stupidly cooled system, just because I want to. There is no other reason for doing this video besides I saw that post and I was like, yeah, yeah, I wanna see what happens. So step one is to completely remove the 3950X's cooler from this. I'm only using the stock cooler right now because I uh, wanted to do testing with the 3950X and how it performs with the AMD stock cooler. And it did fine. Like, as long as you keep the fan speeds up, it'll, it'll do well in a quick Cinebench run, which is basically all we're gonna have time for, I'm sure. This thing is not going to stay very heavy. I did all of my testing on the 3950Xs with proper coolers at 2133 megahertz on the memory, because I know that if this thing crashes, I won't like booting into the BIOS is gonna cost me extra time. So this is not to see like what's the best number I can get out of the 3950X uh, when it's being cooled by a 3700X, but it's simply to see how long does it work? How well does it work? Clean up the 3950X, get the thermal paste off of there. All right, so just so we're clear and there's no bamboozle, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this for you. That's a 3950X, my friends. That is a 16 core processor, as you can see right there. And then as you can see here, I have a 3700X. So eight cores, gonna be cooling 16 cores. We're gonna see how this goes down. So I have to keep this thing flat. That's number one. I, I, I have to get like the logistics set up. I'm gonna re be recording the Cinebench runs directly to a capture card so that, hello, you're good. Everything's fine there. Not only is this video stupid, it's also disconnected because I'm doing it late at night. Okay, I think we have everything mostly set up. I need the thermal paste, which I put somewhere. It's just the thermal grizzly uh, cryonaut. It's just pretty good thermal paste. I'm just gonna put a nice little dab right in the middle. And then I'm just gonna squish the 3700X right on top. I'll probably use a bit more than I otherwise would because you know, you gotta smooth out the grooves of the Ryzen in there. So th the good news is we're not in the olden days of processors where they're just gonna continue to burn up until they can cook your pork. And you know, that infamous video that's gone out everywhere where everybody's seen, like it can cook your food. We're not at that stage. There's thermal limits on these processors. They will shut off before hopefully any damage is done. I have a false sense of security about going into this project. I don't think I'm gonna destroy my 3950X. If I do, science. So you do have a plan. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, science. Let's go ahead and turn this on. You can see the 3800X is right there. There's again, no mounting pressure, but everything's turning on. So the, the thought behind this is that the integrated heat spreader on the 3700X will be able to dissipate some of the heat that's coming off of the 3950X. That's the general idea. I realize now as I'm starting this project, I need to actually get a baseline of it having no processor on it. That's, the, that's what I should be doing, but I'm not but it totally should. We're booting into Windows right now, everything's fine. How about now, mouse work? Yes, mouse is working, we're totally fine, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and pull up AMD Ryzen Master, see what the temperatures are currently like with the 3700X cooling it. You can do this, baby, I, tr I believe in you. Okay, so currently we are at 95 degrees Celsius before anything's happening. Well, it's not 100, so let's go ahead and run Cinebench 
and see what kind. Oh, we're at 103, 105, 107, thermal limits 95. It's just going up. It's just climbing 112 and couldn't even get a center bench run in. Well, this chip is hot. Oh, this chip is freaking hot. Okay, it definitely dissipated the heat. That's for sure. Wow. Ow. Woo. Ha ha. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not, that's, wow. That was a bad idea. Boy. But I'm not done. Nor am I stupid enough to stop there. Because obviously a 3700X, it's, ah, ha, it's still hot. Still hot. Woo. <laughs> 3700X obviously is the same shape and like heat dispersion area of the 3950X. What what did I think was going to happen? There's nowhere, there's no surface area for the heat to go anywhere. So, instead of the 3700X, I uh, decided to whip out my $1,000 i9-10980XE. So this is my 18 core Intel processor, which I use for compiling hot news, mind you. I use this for Chrome browsing. That's that's what this is worth. And I'm gonna be using my 3950X for editing. That's a shot across the bow. Anyways, this clearly, this is still hot, isn't it? Yeah, that's still quite. Oh, it burns, it burns. Stop touching. I wanna move on with the video. As you can see here, the 10980XE has a much larger integrated heat spreader. This thing can dissipate heat way better. Okay, because it generates heat way better. This is, I mean, this is a thermonuclear reactor in this palm of my hand right now. So I think I need to add just a little bit more extra thermal paste on here because we used a little bit up on that 3700X. I have a hypothesis now that I'm halfway into this video. The 3950X will be better cooled with no processor on it because the heat's evaporating off of it. With putting another processor on it, what's happening is it's trapping the heat on to the CPU. So it's not allowing it to go anywhere because it's such a small, are you still hot? No, you're good now. So it's such a small surface area to dissipate all that heat. It's not really, it doesn't have an effective surface. And I'm also realizing now that the danger isn't to the 3950X because that has a thermal shutdown. It's the dangers to the 3700X because I have no control of the temperature going into this thing. I have no idea if it's melted. So we'll have to test and see if this works afterwards too. This is all around a stupid project, but I've committed. I saw the HW bot post. I need to move forward. Okay, 10980XE, you're my only hope. I trust you. Come on, baby. Squish you on there. Let's get some mountain pressure going. Get some suction. Don't snap the PCB. Hopefully all of the processors work after this. I think that's, that's the ultimate victory is that I could be this dumb, but things still work. It's time to go again. Ready, set, and boot. Reese decided he wanted to stay down here and watch the entire thing because he realized how dumb this was gonna be. Okay, we can see the temperature right here. We're at 95 degrees Celsius, 95. Oh, we're not increasing. We're not increasing. That is staying stable. Yes, we are at a stable 95 degrees Celsius. 10980XE giving us stability in our processor. Let's go. Yes, 10980X, oh, 96, 97. Come on, come down, come down. I believe in you. Oh boy, all right, well, let's try to get a Cinebench runoff. Oh, we're already at 100. We're at 102, 102, 102. <laughs> this is not good. This is not looking good whatsoever. Oh man, I'm booting up Cinebench. We're at 105 on the temperature. Oh, this is, this. oh, it's 108. Oh, please don't die on me. Come on, 109, 110, 111, 112, dead. I don't want to touch that 10980XE. Oh, that's spicy. Ah, it's very spicy. It smells too. You just said, I don't want to touch that, then you touch it. Because I got to get it off. Owie. Woo. Got to let the 3950X cool down. All right, so failure number two. The 10980XE lasted much longer though. We actually had stability at one point until I tried to load programs and then actively loaded the cores. But with no load, the 3950X was at 95 degrees. Why am I doing this video again? This is one of the dumbest things I've ever done and we're putting it on the internet. Like this is one of those thought experiments I have where I'm like, hey, that would be so cool to try if I had the disposable income. If all of these break, 
I don't, I'm not going to be able to replace them. Okay, thermal paste cleaned off of the 3950X. Now I'm going to let it cool down and then we're going to test my hypothesis that the CPUs were actually trapping the heat onto the 3950X and making it shut down much faster. And that without any of the CPUs, it's actually going to perform better. All right, this is cool to the touch now. We should be fine. Let's go ahead. Round, was this three? Oh man, I don't trust this. If this explodes, I'll be so happy. Ah, oh, no, that's hot to the touch. Owie wowie. And now we're at 53 degrees, 54, 56, we're climbing. 59, the fan's ramping up. 61, 63, let's run Cinebench. Go. 89, 94, 95, 95. We might get a successful run. 97, 99, 102, not 104. No, 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 no. Don't keep going up. No. Ah, ah, we're so close. Fine. I think, I think the conclusion of this was that this was a dumb idea from the start and somebody putting a processor on a chipset that pulls less than five watts, totally fine. Somebody putting a processor on a processor that draws hundreds of watts, stupid. Dumb, dumb idea. I can confirm, do not use your CPU to cool your CPU. This is almost like the how not to overclock video, which in case you're not familiar with, we did that two years ago? Long, long time ago, we did a how not to overclock video where I showed you all of the wrong ways to overclock and then we set the motherboard on fire to take the thumbnail. You can check out that video right up there. Just to make sure that this CPU still works. I'm gonna run Cinebench and watch those temperatures, make sure it doesn't die. Yeah, with a properly mounted cool, improperly mounted cooler, not even good thermal paste connection on there, or only at 72 degrees, 3950X, 3920, that's about what I was getting before. I think I, I was getting like 3970 when it was actually properly cooled on this thing. So yeah, that still works. Now it's time to see, does the 3700X still work? And does the 10980XE still work? Because those got the heat just jammed right up into them. They got the heat up the kazoo. As I was saying, I'm pretty sure this is the reason why we would never, ever, ever get review samples from AMD. They would be like, You're, are you gonna do that again? Are, are, you, are you really gonna do that with our crap? Yes. Yes. No, please. AMD have kids. All right, so just so we're clear, we're on the 3700X now. I'll show you that it's still working. It's still alive. What do we have? We have 3700X, we got eight cores. All of it's good. We're boosting to 4.1 gigahertz. Everything's totally fine. What, what's our uh, temps are at 42 degrees. We're good there. Come on Cinebench, give me a clean run. Clean, clean run, no hits. 70 degrees, 72, it's totally fine. This is usable. All right, Cinebench score 2056, 3700X, still alive. Now it's time to move on to the 10980XE. Let me get that up. So this build is actually probably my stupidest build that I have currently because of a couple reasons. Number one, I don't need 18 cores. That's, that's number one. Number two, I pair this 18 core high-end desktop chip, thousand dollar processor, mind you, with an RX 5500 XT because I don't need 18 cores. I exclusively use this PC, exclusively use it for making hot news every day. And by making, I mean, I go on Google and I do the Chromey research. That's it. That is what this PC does. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, and then the last reason why this is stupid is because 18 core processor, right? You would assume I'm gonna put a decent cooler on this. No, I just put my single tower Noctua with a single 120 fan on it. Cause again, <laughs> I'm just using it for web browsing. I don't need to cool it. I can confidently say this is the worst video I've ever made. Okay, no. So the worst video I ever made is me staring at the camera for two minutes. Well, that's ready to go. Let's plug everything in. Hopefully the 10980XE works. <laughs> This is fine. Everything's fine. Power switch time. Turn on computer. Hopefully you work. Ah, oh, we got, we got BIOS screen. Woo! Just to show you, just to confirm. Lastly, i9 10980XE, 18 cores, 36 threads. Currently running at two gigahertz because it's doing nothing. Yeah, we're at like 40 degrees. That's not bad. Okay, well, it's working. 
So I can use this for hot news still. That's the good news. And honestly, I had to try this for myself. It was the dumbest thing I could have done. I had a false sense of security that this was gonna work and nothing died, nothing broke. So I think we have the best case scenario coming out of this video. 10980XE performed way better than I thought it was going to. It stayed stable at 95 degrees for quite some time. Hey, 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 right? And then no cooler, no cooler kind of works for a little bit. It all shut down at 112, um, but don't do this at home. Don't watch me do this. Why did I make this video? Because I, I was gonna do it anyways, and th I thought you could watch me do it. There is no takeaway from this video besides sometimes it's fun to do things that are stupid. Hi, I'm Brett, welcome to Computer Jackass. Today, we're gonna be trying to cool a computer with another computer. Yo dog, I heard you like processors, so I put a processor on your processor so you could process while you process. What I should have done was found a way to get two motherboards set up and then turn them both on and have the processors kiss in the middle. I, should, I totally should have done that, but I, again, am an idiot. So thank you for watching this. I can only imagine what the comment section is going to be like on this video. I'm not going to read it. Uh, I know how awful this was. I'm gonna go home now and cry. Sit down, try not to cry. Cry a lot. <laughs> Bye, I guess, I don't know.